Well, in the beautiful game, Nigeria versus Egypt is always a spectacle, and today's match between the two will be no different. With star players everywhere you look, predicting the outcome is tough. For more on the game, we are joined via Zoom by former Nigeria goalkeeper Greg Etafia. Very good afternoon, Mr. Etafia. Thanks for taking the time to speak to the proud football fans of ENCA. Well, Nigeria's interim coach, Augustine Egwavon, is up against a renowned tactician in Carlos Queros. How do you expect him to do? Ah, first of all, good afternoon. I mean, you know, the, I mean the, 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 the tournament is starting today. You know, the proper teams are playing today, which is Egypt and Nigeria. I think, as for me, I feel like Gosnia Guavo, you know, it's a short time, short notice for him, you know, to take this team to Africa. But nevertheless, he has been there before. Remember uh, uh, 2006 in Egypt, he was there. And uh, yeah, he has done very well. And the first three opening games, you know, he has won it. And today we know, we know different, you know. But uh, they, are, they are facing a tough part of Egypt, you know. For the past 20 years in opening ceremony, Egypt haven't lost their first game. But, you know, there's always the first time. And the Super Eagles today, I think they're going to... They're going to come victorious today. Let me jump in there, Greg. Nigeria have reached the semi final in 14 of their last 16 appearances in the AFCON. Can they keep that going? Yeah, I mean, they have to go one step further because remember in 2019, you know, they, 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 they won the bronze medal, you know, which I mean, Nigeria did just, you know, they're not really happy about that. But I think this time around, they need to go further, you know, in terms of, yeah, you know, there's a lot of contender in this tournament uh, this time around. But I think Nigeria is one of them. And uh, with the squad they have assembled, I think they can do that, you know. So get going to the final is going to be their ambition. But first of all, they need to pass Egypt in the first game first. Let's talk a little bit about Egypt. Their main threat is Mohamed Salah, but they also have the likes of Treze Gay. Will the history of past success put pressure on the Egyptian class of 2022? Yeah, Egypt, you know, I mean, Egypt is only the powerhouse in African football, you know, I mean, with the, with the qualifiers in, in terms of the African qualifiers and the World Cup qualifiers, they are top of their group, you know, the only downfall, you know, is the Arab, uh, the Arab, uh, FIFA Arab tournament they play now, which uh, they didn't do very well, you know, they, they went out from the first, uh, first game, and yeah, so it's a pressure for them now to do well in this, the main tournament of AFCON, you know, and they have a new president, the FA president, which, I mean, he says that the, all they're going to do in this tournament is to win it. And with Mo Salah, there's a big, there's a big weight on him, you know, because, I mean, in African right now, he's the best uh, soccer player. So, but right uh, today, Nigeria has plan for him. And I hope Nigeria, we, we contain him and uh, we, we're going to beat, uh, beat uh, the Egyptian. Back to Nigeria, Captain Ahmed Musa has uh, stated that this is the final AFCON that he's participating in and he shocked his teammates by the announcement. Uh, of course, a 29-year-old. Uh, is he too young to be making this decision? No, as for me, I think, you know, he has, this is the third, uh, third AFCON now. You know, he has been there and he's the top scorer uh, for Nigeria in the World Cup. I mean, he has, he has done everything. You know, Nigeria, you, you have the other generation coming and if you... If you check this Nigerian squad, I mean, use a new talented generation. And we feel like, you know, Abu Musa have done his part, but we, you know, as Nigerian, we always take uh, one, uh, one senior player, you know, if not two, to a big tournament like this. And Abu Musa, as a captain, I think he, 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 it's opportune to be there for this tournament. You know, you remember the friendly game they play against uh, Cotton Sports before the, the men's tournament? He yes. scored the first goal, they won two years. So I'm, I'm so happy for him, but you never know. You know, players, they, they make the decision early before the tournament. Maybe after the tournament, he can be convinced again to, you know, to carry on. But you never know. It depends on how Nigeria do in this tournament. All right, Greg, very quickly, we just have a few seconds before I hand over back to my colleague in studio. In closing, what is the prediction for the Group D opening match between Nigeria and Egypt, Greg? <laughs> uh, it's a tough one. No, Egypt, as I say earlier, Egypt haven't lost in their opening game. You know, uh, I think uh, that's all it's uh, first time. I think today is going to be 2-1 for, for the Super Eagles against Egypt. Oh, of course you're going to say 2-1 in the corner of Nigeria. Always <laughs> great talking to you, uh, Greg Atafio, former Nigeria goalkeeper, previewing the AFCON face-off between Nigeria and Egypt, which is just a few minutes away from kickoff. Sally, that's all the sports news I have for you at the moment. Thank you.